here's a look at the uh, tuning condenser. It's in uh, really bad shape. So um, the weather's broke a little bit. I'll take this outside and uh, see if I can push some uh, forced air through it and uh, get some of the at least uh, dirt and grime off and then uh, wash it out best I can and uh, with all the rust on here I'll just uh, dump it in some uh, evapo rust just a little forced air did help out I'll go ahead and remove that uh, piece of mica make a notation of how many turns to get the screw completely out just for uh, to get us in the ballpark in the future once we get this thing back together as you can uh, see the condition here not good but at least we uh, have it and it's nothing that we can't uh, square away a little stiff too um, you guys have seen me use this before the uh, forced air um, used to use the uh, cans of forced air, but um, there's uh, many of these little vacs or dusters, blowers on the market. This one right here serves me well. take a look at the uh, tuning condenser now. It looks uh, much better. That's probably a good 20 cycles in the ultrasonic cleaner after uh, spending all night in a vapor rust in the crock pot. So uh, I'll set that down in here and uh, take it inside see if I can sneak it in. My wife not see me. And then uh, here's just that back frame support piece for the speaker that was all uh, rusted up. So um, I'll get that down in here. We'll let those uh, cool a bit. And uh, I think that's it for this afternoon. For those of you that have followed my channel in the past, you know I like to always document everything with photos. So in the picture in picture you can see some photos underneath the chassis. And again, I just want to document um, the wire connection points, but more importantly, or just as important, will be the routing of the wires themselves. Again, that would be uh, to make sure that I put everything back the way it was done from the factory, just to reduce any uh, hum or any other issues with uh, routing of the uh, lead wires from the uh, power transformer. You can see here, after uh, documenting everything in the uh, photographs, and just confirming everything matched on the schematic here. I'm just removing the old uh, transformer out. Again, the bell housing here, as you can see, will require a little bit of rust removal on the top side. The bottom shell or the clam shell looks really good, not bad at all. Some of the laminated pieces in the center will also need some. Okay, guys, yes, you're looking at the uh, transformer, uh, power transformer that is for the Fuelco 41280. Uh, you've got that ultrasonic cleaner kind of growling in the background as well as the lawnmower here uh, that we're competing with. So uh, real quick for newbies out there, not uh, folks that have been in the hobby for a while, this adds probably little if no value. Um, we'll ohm out the uh, transformer and uh, let's see if we can figure out what goes where. And then uh, I'll do some picture and picture on the schematic and uh, we'll just validate those uh, connection points back to the photographs that I uh, took as well. So uh, let me get the wire strippers out and uh, just get some uh, good wire here on the end and uh, get my uh, VOM over here and uh, we'll do some testing. What I think I'll do is go ahead and take time to um, clean up these uh, wire connections here at this point. Put a little flux on and uh, the solder as well. 
So we've got a nice clean connection here to do the uh, DC resistance measurements. Probably don't even need any flux, but I have found that these uh, old wires uh, here just don't solder up well. So uh, just throwing a little flux on there uh, won't hurt anything. Just using a uh, Q-tip here just to dab a little flux again on each each wire. And I'll go ahead and put some on here, but uh, we'll need to uh, rework this connection point anyway, where this wire's been spliced at some point. Tan the uh, solder and iron here. And again, we'll just heat up the wire itself and apply the solder, and it should run back to the uh, wire. Okay, there we go. I'll go ahead and fast forward through the rest of these. Before I uh, stow the uh, soldering iron away and turn it off, I always like to uh, put a little solder on it. There we go. And uh, let's flip on the meter here. Again, we'll go over to the uh, DC resistance measurement. And uh, let me adjust my lighting here real quick. Get the glare off of the uh, screen. Okay, I'll just lay it down uh, flat. Let's see uh, the best here on camera. So again, you can see I got it switched on. We'll go to the uh, DC resistance here. Um, we'll start out with the uh, primary. And the reason we know this is the primary, you guys probably recall, if you looked at the uh, photos that I just put together, this wire was spliced. And it went back to the switch itself. So if you're following along on the transformer, I'll highlight it as well. Um, so you know, so this should be, unless something crazy is going on, this should be one side of the uh, primary. So we should only read DC resistance back to one of these wires at this point. If we read uh, more than one, we've got a problem. So let's see what we've got. Okay, it's not that one. It's not that one. All right, that sounds good in the background. Okay, it's like I found the uh, magic wire here. So you can see I'm just under 10 ohms of uh, DC resistance, and uh, that would be correct for the uh, primary side. Uh, it's typically what I see anywhere from 8 to 15 ohms or so. And again, I'll leave these leads out here, and if you're following along again for uh, folks new to the hobby, uh, you can see I've got that highlighted on the uh, picture in picture, so you can uh, follow along and know where we're at. So again, one side of this went to the uh, switch itself, the other side came off the switch, went back, and uh, we'll talk more about the safety caps and everything in just a bit. They're not in the radio, but there are capacitors here across the... Uh, the DC, or excuse me, across the AC line. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and mark these. Okay, I'm going to just take some uh, black tape and uh, mark these for now. And again, these will be uh, denoted as our uh, primary leads. Okay, let's move on here to the next leads. Okay, again, we didn't read any DC resistance here from the uh, primary back to the secondary. That's good. That means the transformer itself appears not to be uh, shorted. Again, it's not under load at this point. And uh, we'll have to check later just to make sure with the uh, transformer hooked up we're not drawing any uh, substantial current which would indicate a problem internally to the transformer itself, one of the windings. So uh, what we'll do is discard the uh, primary now and then we'll focus on the, uh, the remaining group of wires. So let's just start out here. Uh, just randomly we'll hook up the uh, meter one lead here. We'll hook up this other lead here. Sometimes you get lucky but this is not the uh, 6.3 volt winding, or at least I would hope not. If it is, we've got a problem. 
you can see here I'm reading uh, 0.442k that would be 442,000 ohms so this would be more of an indicator of a uh, secondary winding so um, I'll note that on the schematic in just a moment once we figure it out so let's uh, I'm gonna leave this connected here and uh, let's just go through these other windings here and you can see here I'm reading about half of the uh, 440 plus ohms of DC resistance nothing here or nothing here let's go back to this one again 442, 444, let's say 442, so 221 would be half, and roughly that's what we have here. So what we've got, and I'm showing it here on the picture-in-picture uh, -picture on the schematic, again these two longer leads right here are our high voltage on the secondary side of the winding. This particular wire right here will be our center tap that I'll point out as well on the picture in picture and a good, a good indicator of that is it's basically half of the resistance of the uh, secondary of the transformer now let's go test between here and here we won't read exactly 227 ohms we should be less and we are so if you add these two together, they'll closely match, or should match, the uh, resistance across the two. The reason one is more or less than the other is the windings themselves in the transformer. So there'll be more windings indicate more resistance, fewer windings, uh, less resistance. But this would be uh, spot on and pretty much what I would uh, expect to see. Okay, we've got these identified, so let me go ahead and mark these again. So again, here's our uh, high voltage winding, and again, this is our uh, center tap location. That simple. So that leaves these two wires here. So one would speculate based on the, what we see left in the schematic itself that this will be the uh, heater or filament voltage. Let me get these color coded here and then we'll go back to these and make a quick measurement and see what we have. Okay, and again just to keep things simple we've got the two high voltage windings here with red tape for now and uh, yellow will be our center tab. So uh, let's check these last two leads coming from the transformer and uh, see if we have continuity here. And we do and you can see it's extremely low and that would make sense. If you look at the number of windings and the ratio from the primary back to the secondary that I'm showing here on the uh, picture in picture there's uh, very very few windings and what that relates back to is uh, very very minimal DC resistance so you can see I'm at the uh, 0.1 ohms let's double check and uh, go back between these other windings here and just make certain I don't have any DC resistance between any of these other windings I think I check this one. Another cycle is done on the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. All right, let me just do the same thing here, just to make certain that we don't have any DC resistance. We should not. Make sure I tested that. Okay, there you have it. So I've highlighted this on the schematic as well, and uh, you'll see the tie-in points. I hope that's uh, helpful for those out there just getting started into the uh, hobby. Thanks for uh, watching this segment. More to uh, follow on the Philco 41.
280.